Hello Pisces. Thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine. We're going to pull some cards for you first and then we're going to focus on where your thoughts are as far as a significant other, where their thoughts are. Whether it's a family, a friend, a lover or lover wannabe. Look at this Pisces. You're walking away from something. Mm -mm -mm. bored discontent you're like no i'm just gonna keep moving forward uh you could be dealing with a scorpio not necessarily but these energies right at the heart of your reading there's some deep emotional love here that possibly someone is feeling for you perhaps you're worried about this left brain thinking uh thinking something is worse than it actually is if you're worried about this person or ever seeing them again, it looks like they're returning, even if you're walking away. But I think you do need to just keep moving forward. You're, you're going through a healing. Some of you, this could be a physical healing. It could be a spiritual healing. It could be a healing between you and someone you really love. We've got earth energy now. This is about focusing on your bank. It's all about Pisces, maybe you're just putting this on a back burner so you can focus on your business, on your career, on your money, um, just getting things in order, organizing, um, thinking about this person really puts you up in your head, but this is the energy you're coming into. This person is going to be back, whether you walk away or not. And what they might be offering you is stability. You may end up with two people here. There's two kings here. Two people, and male or female, it doesn't matter. It's the energies. One that offers stability. One that also offers love. Sorry about the dog snoring in the background. She's 18. This could be a boss. This is about maybe, look, you're just focusing on your stability, your healing. And really wise energy here, I'm feeling. Let's have a look at your person. What are they up to? And what are they planning? What do they want? What do you want? And what's in it for me? Let's have a peek. What is the message for Pisces? Regarding a significant other, whether that be family, friend, lover, or lover wannabe. What is the message for Pisces? What is this person doing, going through? feeling, wanting to do. What is the message for Pisces? This person is at the crossroads. They are going to make the right choice. Now, is that choice coming towards you? What they do want is, th this could, let's look at the other cards before I say that. We've got the green man. This person wants abundance with you. They would like to build something with you. There's that King of Pentacles at the heart of their reading. They're focusing on money, stability, strength. This person is very strong. Yeah, they're coming back. Either you're going to return to them or they're going to return to you, but they're willing to overcome whatever obstacles need to be overtaken to achieve. They're also going, to, they're also feeling like the well is dry. They're going to have to drum up a lot of courage and strength here. That's what they're doing, Pisces. They're trying to drum up a lot of courage and strength in order to overcome these obstacles. They're not feeling too optimistic about overcoming them, though. But this is their desire of celebration, stability. And now I can say, wanting that home environment that's stable, um, in financial and emotional. They want to make the right choice here. What is best for them? What is best for you? They're not feeling too optimistic. Let me clarify that last card. They want justice. They want things to be just. They just want things to be right. To do the right thing. Clarify the crossroads. Yeah, they have very defensive energy trying to protect their heart, but they're willing to give it another shot. Look at this. 
This person could be very loyal. They find they're very passionate towards you. They're trying to think with head over heart instead of heart over head. But they want a happy outcome. Strength for stability and destiny. Being strong. In other words, if you gave them an opportunity or a chance, Pisces, uh, they do feel that this is part of their destined pa path, or par path, and they do want to work on things with you. They are going to offer you um, some stability or a gift. They want to overcome obstacles, but are you a player? Now, strongly I feel that they want to get rid of all those obstacles and challenges that are between you. And there is a possibility that this can happen when they return. Whatever they offer you is to remove those obstacles. They want justice. This well has been dry. We need to do something to make it flow again. Very interesting. We do see Leo Sagittarius energy, a lot of fire energy, though there is earth. Libra is also here. Scorpio. Leo again. Let's ask the romance angels. Let's ask Doreen. What is the message and or advice for Pisces regarding love? What is the message and or advice? This was unrequited love. Finances and career are affecting your love life. Was it an argument over money? Pay attention to the red flags. Sometimes, you know, this is about past energies, past lifetimes, past traumas. Pay attention to the red flags. Not all about this person so much. I usually advise people, and I know most tarot readers will say, pay attention to the red flags. They might be, uh, you know, cheating you. But whenever I see this card, it is pay attention to the red flags within yourself. What triggers you? As you know, we're all responsible for our own happiness. We can't depend on anyone else for that happiness. We can't expect anyone to change for us. So pay attention to the red flags within you from your past that trigger it will help you in your growth someone is wearing a, f a false self mask is it you Pisces is it you when you're walking away you're like at the moment that you walk away it's like you know how we get sometimes we're just like oh I, I've, I've had enough I'm done I'm walking away but you kind of glimpse over your shoulder and hope that they'll come to the rescue we can't expect that from anyone. What we can expect from ourselves, though, is kindness, forgiveness. Even if it is walking away for good to let go of any animosities. That will add to your own karma. Justice. I hope that helped. I go live every Wednesday and Sunday night. If you would like some free cards pulled for you, join me. I would love to chat with you. 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on those nights. And on YouTube, as The Journey Home. Look up At The Journey Home. This channel on YouTube, At The Journey Home. Actually, it's At The Journey Home on just about any channel and platform out there that exists. Well, maybe not, but quite a few of them if you're looking for me. Check out the website too. There's all kinds of perks for members. God bless you, Pisces. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.